Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we will understand our question. The program was accept the integer n as the input and then the program must print the pair of Fibonacci number whose sum is n. We have also given a note that we have to print minus 1 if there is no such pair. So we have to accept the integer n. Then we have to print the pair of Fibonacci series whose sum is n. Then we have also given a note that we have to print minus 1 if there is no such pair. So consider our test cases. So here we have 254. So the first occurring pair of Fibonacci numbers whose sum is 254. So that will be our output. So for our next test case, the possible pairs of Fibonacci series whose sum is 3 are 0, 3 and 1, 2. So first we have to consider the first occurring pair. So this will be our output. Then we have 25. So in 25 we have no possible pairs to form the Fibonacci number. So we'll print minus 1 as our output. So let us understand the key logic of this program. That is, we will generate Fibonacci series up to the value of n, then we will check for the pair whose sum is n. Let us implement our program. First we'll get the integer n as our input. Then we'll assign an array called the fib array. Initially it will be 0, 0,1. Then we'll run the while loop and add the elements to fib array so while fib array minus 1 less than equal to n that is this while loop terminates when the elements is greater than n now we will append the fib array comma plus minus 2 so we have used this logic to get our Fibonacci series you can use any logic to get the Fibonacci series so next we'll iterate over the fib array and check whether if the n val in fib array we have to print val comma n val and break the loop else we have to print minus 1 so we will have a quick recap first we are getting the integer n then we have the array called fib array initially it will be 0 comma 1 then we are having a while loop to generate the Fibonacci pairs 
then we have for val in fib array then we check for the condition and if it is true then we are printing val and n minus val else we are be printing minus 1 now let us execute our program so we have got the correct output now we'll take our second test case so here also we have got the correct output now let us execute our third test case here also we have got the correct output our program has passed all our given test cases successfully. Hope you guys understand. Thanks for watching. See you next video.